so yeah just the video ended again so i'm concluding this on a four part video uh, in summary it has advantages it is portable um it is it has a nice screen it is a very nice uh camera it has nice speakers and it's a windows device you can use for um uh, for your basic stuff and technically if you don't want to use a protector it actually stands on its feet because it's, it has its own kickstand uh, or if you have a protector that's uh, suitable for the kickstand there are protectors like that where the this part which actually is the kickstand uh, is separating along with this part of the uh, cover so the cover on the back side in other words a two part and you can use it like that um, and yeah these are the advantages the disadvantages it's very slow it heats up um, and even though it's an advantage that it is silent apparently uh, Intel uh, this Pentium uh, gold CPU it's just dual core by the way it's, it has hyper threading but dual core uh, is not enough for um, for my use cases and not enough for gaming and if you were to go with the more uh, affordable option for uh, gigabytes of uh, memory and 64 gigabytes of storage uh, because their speed is not slower I think at 4 gigabyte you won't have dual channel though I don't know maybe it is still dual channel actually I should not know that uh, still it's not going to be um, uh, is good as even an affordable uh, laptop so in short uh, let me go to task manager in short um, only purchase this if you know the shortcomings so as you see I have uh, half of the memory usage with 8 gigabytes so if you had 4 gigabytes I, you don't have much of memory left um, if, so you, you it has a lot of compromises and the connectivity again uh, is an issue uh, you don't uh, have much of it so what could uh, Microsoft have done or if they release another goal like Surface Go 2 what they should do is they need to add one more uh, port and ideally at least one Thunderbolt port and on both sides so as you can see uh, the charging part is here but my um, adapter is over there so the cable needs to uh, travel like this over here now the USB-C is here and uh, that's how I'm connecting to uh, this um, smartphone but uh, what if I didn't have space here so I would have uh, preferred this side so I don't have that option both of the connections are on the uh, right side and this might not be handy for you um, yeah so for the second version th there needs to be at least one more type C port type C is now the common theme so you don't need the type A which is a small device anyway though it would have been fine if you can add more than that but I don't uh, expect um, so that you can charge uh, with the um, I don't think in that case the, the Windows is going to have this proprietary charger because um, it's nice but it also takes up a lot of space as you see so two type C's at least plus one more C port uh, for charging that would be wonderful so one Thunderbolt and two more type C's but that's probably too much um, and still the biggest problem is not within Microsoft except uh, the operating system the biggest problem is uh, the Intel so the Intel CPUs even if you get a M, M7 I think they are called or MI7 they are called they are still dual core and within this um, thermal envelope which is a 6 watt um, 6 watt as you see uh, SOC uh, I think Intel isn't fast enough so with the 10 nanometer a process node maybe this is going to um, improve and especially the video capacity from this uh, 615 uh, is, uh, is going to go up so that at least Hearthstone at just regular high settings I mean it's not a very high setting anyway uh, is going to become uh, playable and 
those hiccups, those stutterings, those uh, slowing downs are uh, going to be less or problematic. Though we will see if it uh, really gets there. And I think um, DDR4, you know, we will soon have DDR5 and smartphones. DDR3 is quite old school as well. So uh, overall, I go full circle and go back to uh, my summary, which I already outlined in my short video uh, for portability, for good screen, for speaker and for camera, it is OK. But for uh, some slightly uh, heavier usage for gaming, uh, for connectivity, uh, this device is not OK. Uh, if you are paying like 500 something, uh, with cover and everything uh, for a device, just purchase a laptop or a very affordable Ultrabook with some more connectivity with um, maybe slightly uh, larger footprint but also bigger screen because the screen 10 inches is barely okay for Windows and um, yeah, it doesn't need to be a touch screen because Windows isn't really good unless you have these uh, folding 2-in-1 uh, laptops then it's probably fine as well so I would say uh, do not purchase this and purchase a laptop or a cheap ultrabook instead okay so that's uh, all my take on this device and um, yeah uh, I hope this is useful for uh, people who are still uh, considering uh, this uh, Surface Go uh, after one year yep bye